Morris, 36 <coughs> points in the Lowland League table between these two sides. One goal separated them this afternoon. What's your take on today's proceedings? When you play against Rangers, it's, you can't really compare it. But what I'm comparing is the last time we played Rangers to this thing, and okay, it was a close game in terms of the score of the last game, but what I see there is a real good unit that we've got. And once again, we're, we're talking about the officials ruining uh, Lone League matches, it's most weeks. Um, so, yes, yeah, a bit disappointing. However, if you look at the last four games, I think we're, we're, we're in for them, um, yeah. and there's, there's a good group. I think the substitution, uh, the, the new signings were made, Dan Watt. Dan's like the perfect player for you. Um, he's been in the building two weeks. I don't need to coach him. I don't need to stress because he gets what we, when he, he takes on information and he puts it into place. Scott Walker looks like he's going to be a hit for the for this football club. Um, it's just a shame he got a, a dead leg. How? He'll, he'll be fine yeah, week. I was going to say how serious is his he'll injury? Be fine, he'll be fine next week. So okay, um, and we'll get Blackie back, um, who's a, a, been an excellent signing. Unluckily, yeah. he's not got going yet, but he will be an excellent signing. Do you think the red cards turned the game for for kills. us? It kills it, but what I liked about my players is we never stopped. We played for territory in the second half because of the wind. Um, because Rangers want to play high, so we just play over that. And then throw-ins, we make it awkward, we make it horrible. We never got much caught in the final third with the set plays. For David should be doing better with these corners. Um, it's just a, it's a sore one to lose a set play because that's an area that we focus on, that exact area where it was scored. But I think we've got the, the best defence of what, outside the Old, old, old Firm, I think we're maybe third or fourth best defence in the league. Yeah. Um, and we just need a wee bit of sprinkling up top to start scoring goals. We're scoring more freely now. Um, I think there is an impression that the squad now has a balance about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, things have evened out, some players have gone, some new boys have yeah. come in. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's looking good, as you pointed out. That's the first defeat in four games. Yeah, and, and again, it comes to just having better players. But we had that scattergun approach because we had to at the start of the season, and that, that comes with a level of mediocrity. Um, no disrespect to players or whatever, but you know, you're, you're looking under the couch see if you've got a player for the first of June, you know what I mean? So it was like, we had to go through that, we've been through that, and if you look at the players we're bringing in now, they're going right in the starting 11, and they're improving us. So the ones that were starting are now coming on subs. So I don't see a difference in my team when I make subs now. Start of the season, I was making subs. I was making my team weaker. So this is the format now. This is where we'll be going. If we're bringing people in the building, they're coming in to be a starter. And, and then it'll be about who's performing in that moment, who's performing that week, that month, who's training the best. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm really enjoying it. You mentioned Dan Watt, of course he scored in his debut last week against Edinburgh University. Mm -hmm. Played the full 90 minutes today. Uh, for somebody just coming into the, the squad, he seems a pretty fit, big unit, if I may say so. Yeah, and but, but if you, for me, with Dan, is his game's not based on sprint, high number of sprints, so the fatigue factor's not really there him because his game is holding it up, being a play point. So, when he gets tired, he, that his game is still relevant because it's coming into him, so he doesn't need to move. Yeah. It's what he does with that. He keeps the possession brilliantly for us. Yeah. What we need to be better at is when it does go back into him and it gets set, we need that penetration of the second phase, which we sometimes get, but there's still a bit of work to be done with that. I'm going to mention another player, if I may. Last week, I thought Lucas Berry was outstanding. Now, Today against better opposition, perhaps in a quieter game, it was tough out there in the midfield, mm -hmm. but he's another player who seems to have improved his his performance as the season has worn on. He's, he has put some more weight on, he's doing sprint training. This is all stuff that he's doing on his own, because we're only here two days a week, so he's doing it off his own back, but then he becomes a better football player. Now, because. In his head, it's that placebo effect. I'm doing extra, I'm getting quicker. Even if you're not getting quicker, the placebo effect as well. And he looks like the player that we hope to sign yeah. at the start of the season, but he's now showing it. Lucas Berry, playing like that, great player. Great midfielder for Cowboys. Um, and he's one that will play next year. Uh, if he's continued to do that, great. Because even when Lucas is not on the ball, he's doing the 
stuff that you don't associate with Kuzberi with. Matching runs, staying in shape, getting ball pressure, winning headers. You know, all these wee tiny things that midfielders must do. Whereas Lucas just wants to play the ball at the start of the season. But when the ball on that pitch, you're not going to have that. So you need to have a different part of your game. And he's added it. So he's, he's great. He'll, he'll play most weeks now. I'm not going to ask you to comment on the merits of the decision, but any idea why it is said that uh, Ian Davidson was sent off? Well, I asked him and the referee said it was a yellow instantly for, 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 the, for the foul. And then it was his involvement in Stromash. However, when I speak to Ian Davidson, I say, Dave, what happened? He said, no. He said, I've done that. Done. For me, I'm believing Ian Davidson because Ian Davidson's played over 600 games and I trust him. So, again, I don't know. I said, I will send one, one half in there. Oh, I need the Rangers will better put that one off as well. I think there's a bit of that in there. Cumbernauld Colts mm. for the next match. You're looking forward to that one? I um, actually wish the game was tomorrow. But there's, there's a good energy and a feeling here that we just want to just keep keep going now. So the game kind of come quick enough. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I think they mugged us last time when we played them. There was nothing in the game. I thought we could have scored a couple. We never. Yeah and they mugged us one nothing, so we, we, we're doing them one. Yeah. Morris, as always, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good to Cheers. speak.